We're back again with Professor Andy Malensky, an expert in organizational behavior and global dexterity, which is what we've been talking about for the past couple of sessions. Yep. Thanks for being with us again. Happy to be here. Last time we talked a little bit about um, some harder situations when adapting your behavior, and we got into a little bit of not only what that looks like physically or in directing your behavior, but what that feels like internally. Um, could you talk a little bit about that psychological transition and what people struggle with the most as they try to adapt their behavior? Yeah, that's at the heart of global dexterity. That's what makes global dexterity challenging because it's not just learning the differences. It's being able to take action in light of those differences, which is yeah. which often doesn't feel too good. No, so it's I, the hardest part. Exactly. So I gave. I, I think I we talked about an American manager who went to Germany, and he had to give that direct, Very direct. frank feedback. Right. No. No, no feedback bread. sandwich. Just. No just bread. right to the right. Exactly. Yeah. So. So he felt he felt awful in three different ways. The first way that he felt awful was he felt inauthentic. He felt mm. like this is not me. He is acting in this way, right? He knows what he needs to do intellectually and he's acting in this way and it just doesn't feel like him. And that is so yeah. common when you're adapting. It doesn't sit right. It doesn't sit right. It feels awful and you're acting outside your comfort zone. You have to do it to be effective, but it right. just doesn't feel right. It feels inauthentic. That's number one. Number two is he felt incompetent. He didn't know mm. how. So this is really interesting. He knew he had to be frank and direct in Germany, but he didn't know exactly where the level was. Where's the line, is it? He, he kept worrying. Is he being too direct, even for a German? Uh -huh. Is he sort of undercutting it and being too soft? And he was always very self-conscious about that. Right, there's and the direct news, but then there's the delivery. How to how do it. How direct is exactly. direct, or how indirect can you be with the fact still being there and no good feedback mixed in with it. He also felt resentful. And, and I, mm. I hear this from people adapting their behavior across cultures. He felt resentful because yeah. logically he yeah. knew he needed to adapt. But this is what has to happen. This is what has to happen when in Rome. But psychologically, he thought to himself, you know what? I'm a pretty darn good manager. Why do I have to adapt like yeah. this? Why can't they adapt to me? I, I want to do this. Yeah. Exactly. I don't want to do this. So